Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to be administering the Lasota. The Lasota vaccination is what we have on our timetable for today. So I urge you to come see how we do it. Before administering the vaccine, it is important to seize the drinking water of the birds for a period of time so that they can quickly consume the vaccine when they are served. We'll be discussing today with Dr. Lukman on the importance of Lasota, why we need to administer it in the brooding process. He's here with us and he'll be giving us details on how to go about the vaccination and also tell us about its importance. So this is where, this is our transporting medium for our vaccine. You can see there's an ice pack inside of it to maintain cold chain for this vaccine. This is the vaccine we are using today. We administer Newcastle vaccine from uh, the manufacturer of this vaccine is Fibro. Now you realize that this vaccine is a live vaccine. Now for uh, like every other vaccine, you have to maintain a cold chain because you don't want the vaccine being activated before it gets into the system of the beds. That's the essence of having this cold chain. Now the cold, if once you break this cold chain, it renders your vaccine inactive. Uh, it renders the vaccine, it makes the vaccine look more like, like a poison which can lead to either vaccine break or vaccine failure. Heat actually activate the vaccine. I don't want the vaccine to get activated before it gets into the system of the best. That's why you have to transport it in a cold chain. So we administered our second dose of Lasota vaccine today at the end of our fourth week. Now, the Lasota vaccine is a vaccine that is meant to protect these birds against Newcastle disease and there are actually uh, four different strains of the vaccine. The first one being the Hitchner strain, which is given at the hatchery at day old. Uh, it's actually given in form of droplets that goes into their eyes or nose. While uh, the one we administer today is the Lasota strain, there's also another strain called the Comarov strain. That Comarov strain is usually administered as injectable. Then we'll have the last one that comes in a combination with two other vaccines, which is called the trivalent three in one. It comes in combination with uh, Newcastle egg drop syndrome and infectious bronchitis, which is administered at week 16. So the first contact uh, of vaccine they actually get from the hatchery uh, is, actually, is usually uh, the combination of Marex and uh, the Newcastle Lasota, uh, Hitchner strain rather. First dose from the hatchery at day old. They give them the new cast to the Hitchner strain as well as uh, the Marex comes from the hatchery. Now, in case these vaccines are not given in the hatchery, you have to actually re administer them upon bringing the beds to your farm at day old. Now, the second contact of vaccine they get of this new cast to uh, disease we are talking about is actually in their second week, which also goes orally in their drinking water. Where the third contact they have is uh, the one we just administered their fourth week which also goes in the drinking water, is also the last water stream. Then the next contact that we have with Newcastle vaccine will be at their eighth week, which is the Comaro stream. And then after that, then we administer the one at the 15 to 16 week, which comes as a trivalent vaccine. Now, Newcastle disease is a disease of, uh, of high economic importance to the farmer. It's a viral disease and it comes in four different forms. We have the nervous form, we have the digestive form, we have the respiratory form, and also the reproductive form. Now, the, it usually starts in form of the digestive form where you begin to see signs like greenish stool, which is a digestive form, and then gradually it progresses to the reproductive form, which affects egg laying, affects the egg follicles and affects egg laying. They also have the respiratory form, which will come in form of a respiratory disease, and you, at times you can confuse that with infectious bronchitis or chronic respiratory disease. Now, most of the times when this disease comes, it doesn't come in a single form, it comes in a combination of two forms. Then we also have the, the, the most advanced one, which is the, uh, the nervous form, where you see their neck being twisted. Either it's twisted to the side or they are stargazing when the neck is twisted and then the bird's head is facing up, which is the nervous form. So those are the forms then. You have the asymptomatic one, which you can actually not diagnose, except to do carry out a lab analysis to actually diagnose that they have it. But that one is usually asymptomatic, so we don't categorize that as part of the form, but basically the four forms. Nervous, respiratory, digestive, and reproductive forms of Newcastle. It is expected that the birds who consume the entire content of the vaccine for at most an hour, whatsoever remains after that would not really be effective 
as a vaccine anymore so it's disposed appropriately thank you for staying tuned and we hope you've learned the value of the lasota how important it is in the brooding process we promise to bring you more edition of the brooding experience so therefore we urge you to subscribe give us a like and also a comment see you